one of them potentially murdered the other one. And you think you know who did it? We're pretty sure we know who did it. The Real County Sheriff's Office is investigating an apparent homicide near Slab City. The Imperial County Sheriff's Department is doing very little to actually pursue justice for him and investigate his case. And that's probably because he is a trans indig indigenous man. There are very few ways to get 86 from the bar. And one of those ways is disrespecting yeah. people. Don't make an ass of yourself. Yeah. They literally were shitting on things in there. That is our shitter. Hey, come here, little girl. You want some candy? What that shithead did is on that shithead. Our camp is kind of taking a little break from new campmates this season. Last season was a lot in terms of just social chaos and drama, and we like suffered a collective tragedy last season. So this oh, no. season, yeah, we actually um, had a campmate that was murdered. So yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, at the end of last season, we lost our campmate Legion, who also went by Poe. Um, yeah, and it was a really tragic thing. Uh, the Imperial County Sheriff's Department is doing very little to actually pursue justice for him and investigate his case. Um, and that's probably because he is a trans indig indigenous man. And they don't investigate that as much as they might investigate somebody who has access to financial privilege and racial privilege and stuff like that. I walked to my car just to have a moment to myself to gather my thoughts about everything Slip had just shared with me. You know, I went into Flamingo Camp not ever planning on bringing Legion up. It felt too personal for them, and a story that I wasn't meant to share. But with every single person I interviewed over the next two days, they all independently brought up the loss. It was clear that this was something that they were still grieving, and I felt like if I had left out this footage, I wouldn't be painting an accurate picture of who Flamingo Camp is today. There's been a lot of controversy about our camp because we housed two people, and one of them, not while they were living here, uh, one of them potentially murdered the other one. I don't know mm. if you heard about that. Slip talked about it a little bit yesterday. Yeah, so um, a lot of people blame our camp for the situation. And yeah, we had a rough year. And that's mm -hmm. another reason why we are keeping it small this year. We're trying to like come back from that. So they had both lived in the camp. Yeah. Yeah. So people are blaming your camp because it was issues that had happened at the camp or something yeah. like that. Yeah, well, mostly uh, they blame me because I didn't remove the person fast enough, and I get that, but I, th but but it's not it's not certain that that is what happened yet. Like the police are still investigating, but they don't do shit because it's like a trans person, you know. Well, but we're pretty I, I, certain. I mean, I, I don't know the story, but I would definitely know that it has enough, it's not your fault at all. I mean, you Thank know, you. it's like it's you do amazing thing by having a place for people to come and be free to be themselves. And then for it to be, I don't know, like it just I, that, but that's not fair to you to ever think that you're, you know what I mean? Thank you. I know Nova carries a lot of guilt, but it's not their guilt to carry. We talked about that. I can invite five different people into my life and one takes out the other and like, I can understand why I would want to, I would feel that guilt. Like, if it wasn't for me, this, these intersections wouldn't have happened. But that's not, what that shithead did is on that shithead. Like, I don't care if you're trans or black or white or whatever, the human or whatever. Were you close with Poe? At a point, yes. Honestly, when he died, I don't know if he considered me to be a friend. I still considered him to be a friend. There was a lot of stuff that happened last season that kind of caused a rift between not only me and him, but a rift between me and other people. Some rumors and stuff um, that actually led me to get kicked out of the Flamingo camp because there was all of that drama and because there were rumors spreading about me that like later people figured out weren't true. Um, Legion and I kind of had this rift between us, Poe, and I had this rift between us. He was one of the people that I met at a really dark point in my life and actually helped me and supported me even though he had very little to give. He gave what he could towards me and that kind of set the foundation for our friendship and our relationship and I, you know, I wish that I could honestly say that he still considered me to be a friend at the time that he passed. Um, but I don't know if he would have said that about me given what he probably thought about me at the time of his death.
So if something happens here in Slab City, how do how does police get involved? So they get involved to the extent that the law allows. If there are little things like vandalism, like if somebody spray paints your trailer, they don't get involved because it's Slab City. But usually if it's life or limb threatening things, they do come in and investigate, but the investigation is very limited and they do very little to actually help here. Imperial County is one of the poorest counties in the nation. So police intervention is not something that actually benefits the community in any way. Wow. Yeah, even with things like murder, like there has been no justice, you know, they're looking for the person who, you know, the vast majority of slabs is pretty sure did it, but you know, the FBI hasn't gotten involved, even though this person is dangerous and has fled state lines. They have done very little in terms of actual testing, actual investigating, very little talking to people here. They probably spent like, I don't know, I think they talked to the people who were here when the incident happened maybe three times. And you think you know who did it? We're pretty sure we know who did it. But they don't they don't want to hear that or so i've talked to them a number of times i've done phone interviews and stuff i was traveling when i got the news about our campmate legion so i wasn't in slab city to be able to talk to police directly um but i've talked to the investigators a few times and they have gotten my account they've gotten my account of my interactions with legion and the interactions that i had with the person who the vast majority of us believe did it um and they've gotten my account of the dynamic between the two of them and the account of violence that was in the space including the violence towards legion and violence towards other people so they will listen to it but in terms of actually utilizing the information that they're given to be able to use the resources they have to seek justice for legion and make sure that this person can't cause harm to others very little has been done oh my gosh i'm so sorry that's yeah. sad it's tragic and scary and yes. it had a very big impact on a lot of us you know like there's a few people who are pretty convinced they have ptsd from having to be a part of that and deal with not only that incident but everything that came after that. i was going to say that and now hearing now seeing that people aren't really getting involved or helping it that's scary exactly exactly while getting ready to edit this episode I looked up Poe and Legion on YouTube to see what type of news coverage I could find on the death. Aside from a couple YouTube videos that talked about the case, there was no legitimate news source. The only coverage I could find was a local news channel who uses his dead name to identify him. The individual was later identified as Originally from Nashville, Tennessee, deputies have ruled Jackson's death as a homicide. How could this be? How could a violent murder not be covered by any mainstream media whatsoever? I think this is what solidified my choice to put this episode out in hopes that someone watching knows something and maybe can help bring justice to him and his family. There's a lot of closure that I know will never happen and I've accepted it. We didn't have the opportunity to be able to get any sense of closure between us and I feel like there's a number of people who will never get that closure with that person. There's a lot of chapters of this book that just will be left unwritten because that story was cut so short. Do you feel closure like knowing I mean, I don't know what you believe, but I, I, I believe in energy and spiritual, and I think that he, he's hearing you. If he does know, and he is hearing this, and he is part of this space still, which I really do believe that he does, that he understands that I'm sorry, and that I wish we could have had more time to like actually hang out and be friends, and I wish that things ended on a better note. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. He was a really kind person, and even when we weren't friends, he was one of the few people who didn't treat me like an outcast. Um, he would at least talk to me. I mean, I really felt like he was a little brother, and I didn't really get to express that to him while he's here. But again, when you talk about your loved ones that are passed on, they know mm -hmm. they're here. Mm -hmm. And so he knows, he knows my heart and how I feel about him. Poe was a gentle human, a loving human and fought for the underdog. Poe would have been the first in line to fight for the person that murdered him. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that's just his spirit, that's mm -hmm. who he was. You know, he's gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna fight for the person that can't fight for themselves. He is a big part of this camp, and I think he'd be proud of all of us, just like we've all always been proud of him. Thank you again. I really appreciate all of you for sharing your story, and I think people are gonna be really interested in everything. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful situation you guys got going here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Of course, I'm glad you could be a part of it. Thank you so much, Slip. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. My time at Flamingo Camp had come to an end. It had only been two days there, but I felt like I was leaving people that I've known for years. 
I suppose it's because of the stories they shared and the hearts that they opened to me. I felt connected to them in a much deeper way than normal. Goodbye. Have a good rest of the day. Thanks for the weed. Anytime. <laughs> Enjoy. It angers me and upsets me that so often, with queer and indigenous people and people of color, crimes like this often go unsolved. 